In this video, I'll show you how to flash your FlySky GT3B, GT3C, or Turnigy GTX3 with PSX's hacked firmware using an inexpensive STM8 USB programmer from eBay. You'll need to take apart your FlySky radio and solder three wires to the circuit board. To take apart the GT3B, raise the antenna, pop off the knob with a flathead screwdriver, remove the four screws, and then carefully pop off the top cover. Be careful with the antenna wire. To take apart the GTX3, it's the same. Raise the antenna, pop off the knob, but it only has two screws. Carefully pop off the top cover. Unlike the GT3B, the circuit board of the GTX3 is screwed to the top cover. So remove the screws. Again, be careful with the antenna wire. The three contact points near the transmitter module will be clearly labeled opposite the side of the LCD. You'll need to solder the three wires to the circuit board. Use the included wire packaged with a USB programmer and solder it, making note of which color goes where. The color and length of your wires will be different from mine. In my case, black goes to the ground, red goes to the swim, and white goes to 5 volt. This is the view from the top of the circuit board. Make sure you plug all the corresponding color wires to the USB programmer's connectors using the diagram as a reference. Again, in my case, black goes to the ground, red goes to the swim, and white goes to 5 volt. Now download the SD Visual Programmer from SD's website. The link will be at the bottom of the page. Click download. Run the executable and install it by clicking through the prompts. It will also install the necessary drivers for the USB programmer. Now download the hacked GT3 firmware from GitHub. The latest version as of this video is 061. Click on the latest GT3B firmware, then right click on RAW and save link as. Plug the USB programmer into the PC and it should automatically load the drivers. Launch the SD Visual Programmer and configure the software. Choose ST-Link, USB, Swim, and STM8S105X6. Click the Read button in the toolbar. Make sure it's reading correctly. Now back up the stock firmware by saving it. Open the firmware file we previously downloaded from GitHub. Click the program button to write the firmware to the GT3B. Your GT3B will beep a few times and it should say program memory successfully verified. Your GT3B is now loaded with the hacked firmware. To verify that your GT3B is hacked, turn on the transmitter and hold down the enter button. It should say F061 and this is how you know that you've just flashed it with PSX's hacked firmware. If you found this video useful, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.